This isn't a one career specific, industry specific kind of degree. So it's not just like, here, here's your work. I don't really care whether you do it or not. It's like they really are on you about, you know, doing the best that you can. They are your go-to person in the office. You need something, they take care of it. You've got a problem, they take care of it. You have a new initiative, they figure out how to make that happen. We have to say, today is my day. I'm not letting nobody stop me. I don't care what anyone has said in my past. I don't care if anyone agrees with my future. I want to do more. I'm going to do better. And ain't no one going to stop me in Chattahoochee Tech is before me. And they are affordable. They make it clear and no nonsense that I can do what I want to do through Chattahoochee Tech. 98.7 Chat Tech, where 98.7% of our students earn a career. On today's episode, we're going to look at the Business Technology Program. This is where you'll get leading-edge software application instruction from highly credentialed faculty with real-world experience. The Business Technology Program features 100% online courses and web conferencing for quality engagement with students. What kind of jobs can you get after finishing this program? That is a big question. Before we go anywhere, let's ask Julie, the lead instructor of this program. So I actually love this question, and it usually just makes me laugh because you can do anything. This isn't a one career specific, industry specific kind of degree. Every single place you go to has somebody that is an admin or your office manager. It doesn't matter if it's a trucking company, a construction company, a doctor's office, a dentist's office, your local hardware store. All different walks of life, all different career paths have somebody that is doing these foundational skills that we train our students to do. I mean, and now in this day and age, you can even be a virtual admin. You can work from home. I have a number of students that solely work from home. So it is a truly versatile program. A truly versatile program. That's it in a nutshell. Who are the best students for this program? What is it like? And is it right for you? Let's get started and find out. My name is Julie Neighbors. I am the lead instructor for the business technology program here at Chattahoochee Technical College. I have been with the college roughly 12 years now, and I came into education in a very roundabout way. I first started my career in higher finance. We were doing, you know, corporate finance kinds of things, million dollar deals. And then I started working for a local college in their fundraising department. And the students that I kept seeing did not have the business skills that I just knew they needed to be successful in the workplace. So that really uh, encouraged me to go back to school to get my um, teaching degree. And that is that is how I got into teaching is understanding and appreciating the skills that people need to be successful. And that's why I'm so passionate about my students that I know they need the skills that we teach. And it is so important, no matter what they do, these are the foundational skills to be successful in the workplace. That's right. Julie recognized that people weren't being trained properly. So she took it upon herself to go back to school to learn how to provide that proper training. I mean, I had student workers that were coming to me And I would say, I need you to do this spreadsheet. And they looked at me like I was crazy. I mean, these are seriously foundational skills just to be able to open a spreadsheet, know what cells are, know how to navigate, know how to do certain things that are just so basic that, um, yeah, I really just, I had to go back to school to make sure that the next generation knew what they needed to know. To be successful. Look, I don't want to be overly cheesy right here at the start, but that doesn't sound like the type of attitude you're going to find in many schools. Welcome back to Miss Neighbors, but first, let's talk to some actual students and find out what their experience in the business technology program has been like. My name is OJ Jones. I am from Georgia. They call me OJ for short because my name is absolutely so long. My name is Osserine Jones. I am over 50, but don't look like it. And I had always wanted to attend college. Unfortunately, that wasn't an option for me initially at 16. I found myself on my own because of family dysfunction and just never had that chance to attend college. 
before Chattahoochee Technical College. I had a couple spurt moments, but never the opportunity that I had at Chattahoochee Tech um, did I have until now. So my name is Martez uh, Johnson. Of course, I attend Chattahoochee Tech, the business technology program. To me, it really seems that they actually care about the students obtaining the information and actually being successful after the program. So it's not just like, here, here's your work. I don't really care whether you do it or not. It's like they really are on you about, you know, doing the best that you can, um, having you send resumes in to be reviewed so they can make sure that you're up to par, giving you critiques on things about your uh, daily life, basically letting you know, hey, this is what successful people do, putting in positions to basically see after the program as well. So they're always on you about how and why you're doing things or how you should be doing things because of just building positive habits, basically. Not being able to attend college my life spanned the jobs in which I acquired as an adult, young adult, adult, always tend to lean towards IT and technology. One of the problems that I had, even though I had that favor of being in that atmosphere, was I was not educated. So I tend to always be entry level. I tend to always be that person looking at the technology person who was not just making the money, but they were also learning and creating and developing and moving with the way the world was going. And so when I got the chance to choose where it was I was going to go at Chattahoochee Tech, IT was not a question. Being able to be influenced in the tech, in the workplace by technology and watch my peers or those whom I called my peers, but I was not on their level because I was not educated. It was just the right choice and looking at the layout of the classes and how everything was designed to intertwine into that business technology format at Chattahoochee Tech, it was not a question. It was not a question to choose business technology. My name is Anthony Rogers. I, this, I'm entering my final semester at Chattahoochee Tech for the business technology program. So in high school, you you used a few of the programs uh, when you when I'm talking about like Excel and Word and all that. You use a little bit of that. Uh, however, at Chat Tech, you definitely go a lot more in depth, and you probably get more uh, actual like work based knowledge when it comes to practical usage of these uh, of these platforms. Because you know, in high school, it's maybe just a class that you get. Um, you take maybe an hour uh, out of your day every day, but like Chat Tech, it's a full program where you just completely dive in depth to what you actually need to know. And it's, it's, it's honestly fantastic. Uh, started Chat G Tech right out of high school and it's really, it's a really good, uh, school and it's a really good program just because the school has allowed me to work my schedule uh, you know, my work schedule and just my life schedule. And it just, it's, it's a, it's a really nice fit um, because I can just do Chattahoochee uh, tech on like kind of my time and my basis and stuff. 100% online means that you have the flexibility to learn when your schedule allows it. Our program is one of two programs at the college that is completely an online program. So you are not coming to our campuses to take any classes, things like that. We're even running um, virtual proctored events, except for our industry certification exams. So one of our introductory classes covers Word, Excel, and Access. And at the end of that, the students have an opportunity to take the Microsoft Office certification exam in both Word and Excel. That is free right now. It is included in the completion of that program, and it is an industry-recognized certification. So they could be, it's called MOS certified. That's one of the very first courses that they're going to be doing in our program. They also learn how to format appropriate business documents. So letters, resumes, covers letters, reports, agendas, um, travel plans. They learn how to make travel plans, organize events. We have students that are also doing professional communication because that's one of the things we hear from employers is that employees just don't know how to communicate. 
So we have a whole course dedicated to professional communication skills. Professional communication skills are very, very important. We've all heard what it sounds like when a company doesn't know how to communicate in a professional manner. All right, press conference. Hey, we done screwed up. We screwed up. It was Bill. It was his fault. His truck broke down. His girl has just been giving him all kinds. And we screwed up. We know we're going to own it, but we screwed up. But you know what? It's your fault. You shouldn't have hired us in the first place. That's its own. It. Yeah, this is real. You got to take some personal responsibility for this. Why are you the way that you are? <clears throat> Ms. Neighbors, please continue. We also have a social media and electronic communication class. So they're learning all of the technologies that they're going to need. And this is well beyond your Word and Excel and PowerPoint. So that's what that course encompasses. And then we also have different specializations that students can do. And I am so excited. We are the only college in the state of Georgia that is offering a new program of study. And with the adoption that we did of this new program, students have pathway options that they never had before. So they could specialize in social media. They could specialize in HR. So they can pick a specialization. And what that also allows them to do is talk to and work with professors that are in other programs of study who have other expertise. So they become an even more well-rounded student because they're having that opportunity to experience and learn from a whole variety of people. The first thing I experienced being transparent and honest was looking at the names of the classes going, and maybe it's just my age. What is this gonna do for me? How is this gonna help? What is, at the time, record management? I'm not gonna play with records. And then getting into the curriculum and the class layout and the teachers and professors and Miss Neighbors, Professor Neighbors, getting into the class, going through the format, especially at the beginning, and getting the understanding of what each class is going to create in you as far as education and learning, you begin to see, oh my God, this is everyday life. We go to school and we're, we're prone and trained. You go to school, you get your degree, you're going to get a better job. You get a better job, you're going to get a better house. And if you lose your job, you got a better chance of getting another job. And, and that's it. But when you get into Chattahoochee Tech and you get into these classes and you start seeing the learning you're getting, you start realizing, wait a minute, I can use this in buying a home. I can use this in communicating with others. I can use this in just the way I develop as a person. And it's so refreshing. It's so, for me, life changing because those things that we have where we're not as confident, we have lower self-esteem, we may be afraid to speak out. The classes within um, the business technology forum, th- th- there's a discussion board. I wondered, what in the world I'm going to answer these questions for and how is this going to benefit me? Those questions that they, you, you have your, your, your task for your textbook, you have the layout of every week of what your assignments, your tests, and your quizzes are going to be. But there is a section in most of the classes called a discussion board where you're giving a question and you have to Think about that and determine what's the best answer. And then you go to your classmates and look at their answers and you respond and get feedback. It seems like it's going to be a whole waste of time. It has been at 55, going on 55, one of the best things that could have happened to me. The questions that you're you're, you're challenged with, you walk into work, you walk into the store, you walk into your life and you go, oh my God. I can answer this. I, I can I can handle this. I can relate because you've experienced it in the discrete discussion group or discussion board, but you have to apply yourself. You have to want to do the best. You, I saw some classmates just do a one liner. But if you think about as you go in the class group and the discussion, you go, wait a minute, this is interesting. Oh, this is good. And you start really getting involved. I promise anyone that's listening that it would change just the way you think about. It's like therapy. (laughs) It's like having your own psychiatrist. And then if you got professor neighbors, she's going to come back and she's going to make sure she helps grow you in whatever your answer would be or 
say great job or good job. She's like I, that good mama. Um, if you need to do better, you're going to do better. If you, you did good, you did good. You're going to get that star either way, but you're going to have to do better. So I, the discussion boards, the quizzes, the weekly um, um, updates for each section of the curriculum, it's just so much order and, and, and purpose to it in each class that you can't help but get something out of it. The instructors, uh, honestly, have been some of the uh, most, I, I would say they have been the most dependent uh, instructors I probably have had in this pathway, uh, you know, just all through my education career, because anytime I've had a question, they've answered it pretty much immediately. Uh, no question was considered a quote unquote stupid question. It's been it's been great just to be able to know that if I have a question, it doesn't matter if it might be considered dumb in my head, the instructors and uh, counselors and all those wonderful people uh, will definitely help you. And it's, it's great because, um, you know, it's, as a student, sometimes it's intimidating to try to get help, but the instructors in this program definitely have that open door policy where you can pretty much ask them whatever and they will help you to the best of their ability to get through and uh, have success in this program. The thing that sticks out to me the most right now, because of the confidence that I've gotten through these courseworks, in my last semester, I opened a Christian bookstore. I opened a bookstore here in my county. And I still work my IT job remotely, but I was able to open a bookstore. Never thought I would do this. The thing that's the class that sticks out to me the most that I thought was just crazy um, at the time was records management. It teaches you how to organize and how to put things in order when it comes to records. When you think of records, you think of what? I'm not playing records. That's old. I'm not dealing with records. I'm not in a medical office. But when you think of records as data, as if you think of it as information, if you think of it, if, if you're on a computer and you have to file um items on your computer and easily go back to them, whether it be quizzes for English, quizzes for the organization of managing all of your data on your computer or anywhere, your mail that you get at home, that's considered records or slash data. Records management has been critical to me managing my bookstore and organizing books, information, even the all the information from being an entrepreneur that I get that comes on my computer or it I, I'm amazed at how critical understanding the different formats of organizing records, um, the, the archiving, purging, um, classifying them. Never in my life had I thought about that until now. And then voila. So out of all the classes mean something to me, but right now I actually use that information every single day whether it be professional on my IT job, working with SQL and data files and running queries and data management and data restoration, whether it be in my bookstore, um, organizing books, organizing information, or whether it be at home on my personal computer. You're gonna find no matter how the classes are formatted at Chattahoochee Tech, for some reason, they were smart. They are smarter than some of the schools who you may have heard of all your life where they are taking those courses and making sure it, it, it enhances your personal being. How do you know if this program is right for you? If you love being an important key player in an office, helping people problem solve and helping to get things done, this is an ideal program for you. I would say if you have the drive to work for these programs and to uh, do your best when it comes to you know business technology. If, 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 if you believe that it's a field that you want to do, I think you should definitely uh, try it. You know, I think I think the instructors will push you in the right direction. I think you'll have a lot of support from Chattahoochee Tech itself, and I think you will have a, a lot of success if this is what you want to do. And I, I believe if you are driven in this program to um, to do your best, I think you can get a lot out, out of it. And I think you can get a lot of success from it, not just at Chattahoochee Tech, but also in future careers, because I think it is very practical. And I think it is a really nice program to, you know, to learn and have in your, uh, have in your mind.
they are your go-to person in the office. You need something, they take care of it. You've got a problem, they take care of it. You have a new initiative, they figure out how to make that happen. Um, they are the eyes and ears. They know what's going on with the staff that's in the office. They know what's going on with the vendors that are outside. They are truly the glue that holds it together. You need a bit of inspiration before we leave? OJ, you're up. Get up and make that positive decision in your life and attend Chattahoochee Technical College. If you want to change, you must first be your change. When we look at our lives and we have all these complaints and we have all these things that we're lacking, all these things that we're wanting, we hear all this negative stuff about what we can't do. We have to put the oxygen on our own face, breathe and say, I want more. I'm going to do better and I am going to get help and I am going to make this move. And with Chattahoochee Technical College presented in my face, I'm going to take that rope and I'm going to do better. It's not anyone else's responsibility. No one owes it's us anything to make a better life. If we want to do better and we have the resource of Chattahoochee Technical College, we really need to take that. Why wait any longer? If we continue to wait, we don't know what tomorrow holds. Nothing's promised to us. We're living in a time where life is telling us, if you wait, I can't tell you what tomorrow is going to be. We have to say, today is my day. I'm not letting nobody stop me. I don't care what anyone has said in my past. I don't care if anyone agrees with my future. I want to do more. I'm going to do better. And ain't no one going to stop me. And Chattahoochee Tech is before me. And they want to help me. And I'm, am I going to refuse actual help from someone that wants to help me? And they are affordable. They make it clear and no nonsense that I can do what I want to do through Chattahoochee Tech. They make it clean and easy. Fill out the application, put your name on it. Don't let no one have, wait for no one else to do it for you. Sign it, do everything I'm told to do in order. Here's A, let me do A. Here's B, let me do B. Here's C, let me do C. At the end, I'm going to get to Z. But just get up and do this thing. Why wait? Yeah, why wait? Do you think you're a good fit for the business technology program at Chat Tech? Get online and learn more at chattahoocheetech.edu. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. Darren Sutherland, executive producer. Jeremy Powell, creative director. Jacob Sutherland, director. Producers Jason Gentarola and Matt Golden. And Kezia May, copywriter. All rights reserved.